Elizabeth Barry here reminding you to get out of your own way and have a little fun. This is my leadership Christmas edition and why not have a video right next to my beautiful designs on my refrigerator. I don't have kids. Uh, that was actually from my Christmas party. So um, today's topic is leadership and self-branding and this goes out to entrepreneurs, to women in marketing agencies and to executives out there that are looking for self-branding. Well, my question is, how do you stand out in a crowd? Do you want to stand out in the crowd? And, and why not? We're all personal brands. We're all walking, talking, acting legacies of our worlds, building and reinventing and making our way. So it's how we show up that matters. And I want to ask you, how are you showing up in this world? Do you know? Do you know that your employees are seeing you in a certain way? Do you want to know how they're seeing you? Or are you looking at your teams in a new light and saying, well, how can I best represent myself so that they can learn and pick up on my cascading effect? So it's a scary topic, I know, um, but it is a great topic because as, as an executive marketer myself, as a president of a company, as a coach and a consultant, um, I'm constantly looking at how I show up in this world. Sometimes I need to be quieter. Sometimes I need to stand up more. Um, it's all about taking risks, giving better talks, speaking succinctly, providing value and meaning with words. So why is it so hard to effectively communicate with other people, with uh, social media, how to get the results desired. This is all part of our self-branding nutshell as executives and leaders and people who are putting ourselves out there for 2019. So is the missing piece of executive coaching, uh, personal branding, just the opportunity to just pick up the phone and say, can I have an objective point of view? Is, is that it? And if that's the case, I encourage you to give me a call. Uh, I think we can all learn to be more empathetic and compassionate with ourselves. We could be softer and kinder and have more fun with what we do. And even if we're career minded, we can be a little softer and smile more and breathe more in and out of the office. So I know you want to smile more and even better yet, what about your idea of how you show up in this world to perfectly equate to what your teams have to say about you, your customers, your clients have to say about you, and even what you get to look at at the mirror before you go to sleep every night, knowing that you're intrinsically rewarded from your appearance and your ways of being. It's all about time to nail it, so to speak, for your leadership development for the new year by adding a personal touch, reinventing yourself in your personal brand, conquering 2019 like a boss, like a badass. We're living in such a competitive world and there are no handouts anymore. We are all being watched from eye to eye, social media, in meetings, and we want to know the best that we can be and we want to know how we're showing up we, and it's sometimes it's hard to ask our teams or others so it's best to go to someone like myself for constructive criticism and advice so I'd love to work with you if you're looking to work on your personal brand please message me uh, my name is Elizabeth Barry I have a coaching and consulting agency and I'm looking to work with you to manage your personal brand for the new year and I think that Frosty thinks it's a good idea too. <laughs> Have a great day. If I don't see you until 2019, may the spirit of the season be with you.